Hi guys, so after yesterday's video I've been itching to try a L'Oreal root spray so today I went and got some with my essential shopping. This is a L'Oreal Magic Re... yeah, Retouch and I just got it in brown. My roots are pretty so bad. You can really see it here on this side. So I'm hoping if I show you this, people will not go out and colour their hair because that's going to be a nightmare to fix it. And it's if you go and put an Oliver Brin on your hair and it goes too dark, it's a nightmare to lift. If it goes warm, it's really hard to kill warm tones and tone it down to an ashy tone. Um, if you put a home bleach dye on your hair and leave it on for too long or use high, too high a developer, you'll burn a whole fringe off yourself. Don't do it. I've done it. I've done it to my own hair and you would think I would know better. So give it in a right good shake and then spray from maybe, I think this says 10 centimetres away but I normally tend to spray it from an arm's length away. I've not actually used this stuff before so I think I'll start across my part in just so I can see roughly how much I've got to blast it. It's hard to see it in this sun but I think I'll need a wee blast yet. I'm wearing sunglasses today because I've not got makeup on and I look awful. So you'll not have that problem. Just whip them off, get your hand as close to your hairline as you can and give it a good blast. And I'm going to get rid of my hairline. This is going to be kind of tricky to do with glasses. I'm going to tie my hair up after this, so I really want to get this bit Well, you can see it does definitely colour your skin, but you can go around that with a white bit after. Right, I'm just going to tie my hair up and see how that looks. I'm delighted with that, it's filled in all my little bitties. And that greys are definitely not half as bad as what they were. Oh, I've got it around my face. Now, one thing that I always find out, I'm forever getting that stuff in my ears. So if you just go around your ear well, wipe. Yeah, I do it every time. I think I just get overly excited, but it's fine. Just make sure you check your ears. Your ears and your forehead. But sometimes I don't like to take a wipe right around my forehead. I just smudge it in with my finger because it looks a bit more natural. Like you don't want a solid line. Um, when you give your hand a good clean I would too. definitely recommend that stuff. You'll get it in most supermarkets when you're going to do your shopping. So it's perfect. If you're struggling with your roots, uh, other things that you can do is use eyeshadow. Get right in about your roots with your eyeshadow or mascara eye mascara, get in about it with that, uh, dry shampoo, um, quite often you get dry shampoos that have got a hint of colour in them, you could maybe try them, although at root spray it's definitely got more of colour in it than a dry shampoo, it's totally different. Braids, you could put your hair in braids to try and disguise your roots, do like a zigzag part in, if you've got a solid part in, try and just change it up to a zigzag part in or like half it and flip it in different ways because then you've not got a solid grey block. Um, what else is yeah, there? Yeah, just wear your hair up and change your part in a bit of place. If you've got your part in here and it's greyer than this side, flip it over to the other side and just try and do whatever you can to make it work. Or if it's a mess on the top of your head, just like look bits around like a messy gun and try and discover a eh, discover, disguise a grey bit is and hopefully that'll work better, but whatever you do, I'm begging you, please do not put a box dye on your hair because it's gonna be a nightmare. They contain metallic salts, they're way more damaging for your hair, and it's gonna make my job and every other hairdresser's job a nightmare when we come back and you're gonna be itching to get your hair done and then um, we're probably not gonna achieve the color that you want because there's been a box dye on it already. So I'm begging you, Please don't do it. I know how you feel. It's awful. Anyway, I hope you guys are all safe and I will speak to you soon.